busy? Hey. hey. Never too busy to have a serious conversation with my partner. I'm majorly worried here, Sonny. Don't be. The little dust up in Puerto Rico is history. Forget about it. Would that I could, but, uh, you know, it wasn't just another ordinary day in the neighborhood. Okay. Tell me what's on your mind. All right, well, here's the thing, Sonny. You know, I, I am not going to pass judgment on you at all. I mean, we go... <sighs> we go way, way back. Yeah? I mean, I know you like I know my brothers. I know where you come from, and I know who you are deep down inside. And that, uh, familiarity allows me in on the fact that, uh, I happen to know you have this irresistible attraction to the wild side of life. When you've been getting chased by guys with guns who make hostages of whoever happen to be around you at any given moment of time, well then, I know you've been taking that walk. Now, uh, you know, I may not like that, but ultimately, that's your choice. We all make them, right? I mean, that's what life's all about, choices. Right? Right, right. Okay. Well, you know, I think you're going a little too far when uh, those choices you make are being forced on other people, like me and Brenda, for example. L and B are not into shoot 'em ups We can't use them, Sonny, and we don't want them. Well, I, I feel the same way. When we went to Puerto Rico, Last thing I expected was to be caught up in a turf battle. But things went down, and when it did, I had to act in the only way I knew how to save our collective butts. Okay, great. Well, then take a bow, Sonny. I mean, everybody's hero, but that is not the issue here. You promised me that L&B was going to be your big, legit opportunity, and I believed you. You want to know why? Huh? Yeah. Because you are like a brother to me. And because you're the only person in this town who's always been straight with me. That is not going to change. Well, it better not, because, Sonny, if you betray me, I mean, I swear, well, I don't... No, you don't have to swear, because it's not going to happen. All right, then level with me. Are you into something that's going to fall in on my house? What you said about connection, going back, and having history, that means something to me. I mean, we, we may not have the same blood, but that doesn't mean we're any less family. Who knows? I mean, it might even count for more. We don't get to choose our family. We're just stuck. Anyway, when we first started this business, I made a promise to you, and I meant it. I'd sooner cut off my arm than betray you. You believe me? Yeah, I do. But you better not screw this up for me, Corinthos. Or you won't have to cut off your own stupid arm. I'll do it for you. I'll count on it. Like a reality check. Are we still partners? All the way. Good. I guess I won't have to hit that golden parachute. Whoa. Wait a second. What the heck is that? I got a visit from your boy Ashton today. What about? He came over, waving some money around, and offered to buy me out of L&B. Whoa. Whoa. You know what? I think my ears are stopping up on me. What do you... What makes him think he has the right to do that? Maybe he wants to save his lambs from the big bad wolf. <laughs> These quartermain people drive me nuts! Sonny, have you heard something from Luke? I'm sorry, but I want to let you know that uh, I got all my feelers out and... Uh, we... There's nothing? Not yet. That doesn't make me feel any better. That makes me feel a lot worse. 
You know, I've got to say some things to you that I wouldn't say in front of anybody else. Why couldn't you have left well enough? You know better than anybody else what Luke would do if he found out where Frank Smith was, especially after Frank tried to frame him for Jack Bowen's murder. Now, all you had to do was conduct your business with Frank Smith and keep your mouth shut. And then maybe my husband would be right here now, where he's supposed to be, with me and his children. Instead of... God only knows where. Hey, wait. If you think this is going down easy for me, contrary to popular opinion, it's not second nature for me to look my friends and partners in the eye and lie to them. I respected Luke enough to know that I had to play it straight. Now, obviously, I made the wrong choice. If I could go back and undo what I did, I would do that, but I can't do that. I know that, Sonny. I just wish that you'd been a little less honest this time. So do I. Sonny, what a coincidence. How's that? Oh, I was just thinking of giving you a call. Well, now you don't have to. Back in that? Come on in. What's this about? Uh, your late father's business interests. comfortable, but I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Well, this doesn't have to be hostile. Maybe, but I can't imagine what business you could possibly discuss with me. Well, first of all, let me offer my sympathies on your father's death. So noted. Well, I can see that you're all torn up, so let me make this brief. Your father's passing created an opportunity for both of us. Now, hold it right there. We're not discussing anything until I determine what you had to do with my father's murder. I have hers, I assume grief has clouded your logic. I had no reason to want Frank dead. We had a very good, mutually respectful relationship. Maybe I was like the son you never had. Is that so? Frank counted on me. He was the cushion I needed between myself and Rivera, between my new singer and Rivera, and he always respected my legitimate business ventures. He was very generous with his protection, and things were cooking along just fine as far as I was concerned. So you saw your opportunity. You didn't even...